to the housing market now where prices are rising, as you know, and inventory is falling. And that has been frustrating potential buyers all across the country. As Diana Olick reports now, that frustration may linger. Today's housing market is pricey and competitive, and it's likely to stay that way for the rest of the year. But things may be easing up on a couple of fronts. First, mortgage rates. They rose sharply at the start of this year, but seem to have settled lately, albeit at that higher level. While rates are unlikely to fall and could inch up a little bit more, experts are not expecting as big a leap as in the first half of this year. Home prices are still hot, rising faster than incomes, but the gains seem to be easing up ever so slightly as buyers hit an affordability wall and the supply of homes for sale increases a little bit. Supply will be key in the second half. Home builders will continue to ramp up production, although not as quickly as needed and mostly in the move up, not entry level category. Costs are already high for builders and a potential trade war would only make that worse with those higher costs passed on to consumers. One thing is certain, demand for housing will only increase as a stronger economy gives more and more renters buying power. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.